Usually it is first starts with obstructive inspiratory stridor. In these cases, the patient will go into slowly hypoxia and later into the cyanosis and uh, there is a hypercapnia which leads to the respiratory acidosis. Patient slowly goes into the stoporous condition. Sometimes they end up with respiratory failure. Even death. It starts from a respiratory tract infection. Slowly, this infection progresses and descends to the laryngotracheal bronchial tree. The patient will present to you with a fever, with a, having a toxic symptoms. Patient is anxious. There are feeding abnormalities. That means patient doesn't take food, or sometimes they are not in favor of taking food and vomitings will be there. Sometimes because of regular cough, they are having aspirations. Then the patient will have a weak because involvement of the laryngeal vocal parts. Even they are having a specific cough or a croupy cough. It is like a seed barking. It is prominent in the night. Because the night actually everything is silent, you can visit. Uh, see, it. I mean, you can identify the type of groupy uh, cough. These patients, they end up with inspiratory stridor. Because involvement of the subglottic, they may enter into the biphasic stridor even. X-ray of neck, AP view, again you can see the steeple sign in the x 